Hi, this is video 311 of the restoration of the Lancaster NX611. The lads and lasses are on their tea break, so I can have a look around before the noise starts. All skin pins removed from the outer side of the fuselage. The two-tone fuselage skins. The top skin is a darker colour. There was confusion with the marking which was outside and which was inside. So the inside was painted with the outside paint and vice versa for the outside. The rack between the tailplane jeep filling up with inspection and identification tanks. Dave's first up followed by Chris. Got 39 rivets. 39 left to put in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when your partner comes back, she's going to um, fly engine at the minute. So. Oh, is she? Yeah, so when she's come back, we can rattle them in. Oh, good. But it, it, when will it be coming off then? This week, do you think? Probably next week, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's still a few more bits can fit inside, but in the main, it can come out any time it likes now. So yeah. All, in, all underneath them, just a few rips on the top of it. Yeah, why were the. Were there some longer rivets, special rivets or...? Yeah, yeah, some bigger ones, 316 sort of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's just like, I've been round all, just there's a few holes that have been missed out that have put in, so I've just put in rivets in there really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, good. Mm. It looks good. Can you do what you did last week, just take it up then step? Yeah. And um, it is running at the moment. All right, and then you... Edit it all. Yeah, all right, yeah. You just want to pan up and down the... Yes, please, to just show it. There's loads of uh, Cleco in it last time, wasn't there? Pardon? There's loads of Cleco pins in it last time. That's right, yeah. yeah. The, you've got about a, oh, no, a panel. About here, won't we? One yeah. panel yeah. done. Yeah. Let me just see. If we get down this end, we can get... Put that one on as well. Just bent. Oh. There we go. There we go. Wobbling around a bit, but. Yeah, I hope we come out of the next week, yeah. There we go. Right, thanks, Dave. To them big angles through the skin. Look, there's some um, little angle brackets that go through the former, so I'm going to squeeze them up this morning while she's yeah. out there. Oh, you can squeeze them up. Yeah, do it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's always little bits and bobs to do. Yeah. But like I say, that, that can be done when it's in the trolley, but yeah. while it's still near, I'll just carry on and you know, yeah. get a bit oh, Good. Mm. How are we done with your. Um, Engineering, are you qualified now? Yes. I can't see a, a one wing and an ear. Did big you size. Did they make you a big one? No, they didn't bother. Didn't they? No, they weren't worthy. Yeah. You reckon? No, it didn't, wasn't suitable. I can pick it up when it has and when. You need to. If I need, yeah. Yeah. If we get short, I can just yeah. dumb the chubby brown out. Yeah, and you're away. And off the foot. Yeah. So what are you doing now? So what? this. So what I've done, 
Yeah, no, it's good. Because all the ribs on the starboard tail plane. Yeah. I've took them all apart now. So I've stripped them all down, took everything off them. Yeah. Um, and then bead blasted. So some of the stuff, it's like this. This looked all right up. When I first looked at it, it looked all right. I put it in the bath, paint stripped it, still looked all right. So I bead blasted it. And once I bead blasted it, you see it's got a tiny little crack. Oh, see yeah. the crack in it? Yeah. Which is fair enough, it just means that that like seven can just get a new one made. So, yeah. I've got, so that's what I've been doing, so I've nearly done that. So oh. once I've bead blasted it all, I've been making a list. So what I've done is I've itemised every rib and then just made a list of what's serviceable, what's, what's salvageable and what's, yeah. you know, what's US. What's and then what Keith will do, then Keith will write this up in the proper work bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then we can we can start picking our way through. Basically, what we'll do we'll do like we did with the tail plane. Yeah. So once Dennis is finished picking up some of the holes on the ribs, all this stuff, the feed blasting it's good. I'll get it painted, and then we can start sort of assembling it yeah, to the ribs, like yeah. we've done with the trailing edge. Yeah. You know. So that's what I've been doing. So I've nearly done that. Oh, good. The next thing I've got to do is take the the nose rib off. We've got to take all them ribs off. Of the leading edge. Yeah. That'll be the next job. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. Keep me busy for another week or so. You know. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. I asked Dave when the rear fuselage comes out of the jig. The jig will be modified to take the mid midsection. How will they support the centre structure of the midsection of the fuselage? The midsection of the fuselage will be from NX664 Lancaster, which is French owned. This will be restored to a taxable condition. Oh, do. Got on the way down here, these look. These. Oh, so yeah. I'm assuming that's where he's going to, the new going to pick up on them to support it. Yeah. yeah. Free either side and then obviously bolt on the end. That should do it. It'd be a bit easier to move around as well, we're not having the beams through. Yeah, this is the on wheels, no, it's not, no, it's is just it? Set on. Yeah. And this face here will go into the jig. They'll fit onto here, so they will come onto this jig from this side. These are parts of the new jig for the centre section of the fuselage of um, NX 664, the French one. When restored, NX664 will be then fitted to Just Jane NX611 for taxiing. They will then fit Just Jane NX611 midsection into the jig and restore her to flying condition. tail plane where the leading edge ribs removed. The front spar of the port side of the horizontal tail plane where the leading edge ribs removed.
Aid is getting on well with the FM5 Coppola, fitting the foam perspex sheets. The rear fuselage. It's taken the team two and a half years to complete the task to bring it to this stage. This is NX611 rear fuselage, ready to be fitted into the jig. This was January 2023. Start in January 2023. A look through the 32 month the team took to complete this task. The main team of Dave, Norman, Phil, Terry, Gerald and Jody. Other members of staff lent an helping hand when needed. Dave made 95% of the formers riveting it all together. Jody worked with Dave on the riveting using the book bar. This shot shows the keel and the spine of the jig securing the former's top and bottom. Phil worked on the crew door frame and the lining up of the control tubes for the tailplane. Norman fitted all the stringers, also marking out thousands of holes on the stringers to be drilled and making and fitting the Oleo rear wheel box. Terry and Gerald for making cleats and brackets and helping out where needed. And of course, Magic Mike the painter. The rear turret support frame painted black was made airworthy in 2020. A fantastic job all round, well done team and made in England.